Hey guys, person here, back in an episode of the New York Giants franchise, and here Giants are 7-7 on the season face against the 10-4 Green Bay Packers. Giants are on a thin line right here if they want to get into the playoffs. They pretty much have to win every single game, and Eagles and the Cowboys have to lose all their games if they want to get in. So, there's always a chance. So here comes Eli Manning, 3,553 yards, 21 touchdowns, 12 interceptions, and a 66.7 complete percentage. Manning still looking sharp on the season. Touchdowns are a little bit low, but so are the interceptions. So those two stats pretty much balance out. Nice game by Rashad Jennings right there. Now second and three for Manning. He is going to hand it off to Rashad Jennings, who is going to get the first down. That's all he needed was a couple yards. Now first and ten for Manning. Switching the play at the line, and he is going to drop back fire quick pass. It's being played to Oda Beckham Jr., who is going to get down at the 44 yard line. Nice first yard, first down gain for the Giants. Now, second and two for Manning. That one's going to be complete to Larry Donnell for a nice three yard gain right there. And now, Giants are threatening to score with a second and five. Manning's going to drop back, but he's going to get speared on the play. It's going to be a loss of eight yards. Now, 3rd and 13 for Manning. Let's see if the, he can get the Giants in field goal position. And he does with the completion to Odell Beckham Jr. And let's see if the Giants can get a field goal right here. And the kick is going to be wide right. So, yeah, we're going to be looking for a new kicker in the offseason, if you can tell. So, here comes Aaron Rodgers, 2,929 yards, 23 touchdowns, and 13 picks on the season. Let's see if the John Stevens can hold up on this matchup between Aaron Rodgers. First and 10 for Rodgers. It's going to become play to Devontae Adams, who is going to get down at the 45 yard line. Packers are already off to a hot start. Second and six for Rodgers in the shotgun. It's going to be another quick pass to Adams again, who's going to get past midfield into Giants territory right here. Second and 10 for Rodgers. He's going to drop back fire pass, and it's going to be complete to Eric Williams. Who's going to get down at the 31 yard line? And that will take us into the second quarter with 38 for Rodgers. He can drop back fire pass to Weems again. It seems like Rodgers is just playing, running the same play over again, just a couple of slants. And that one's going to be a pass to his running back who is going to get into the end zone. And the Packers will strike first. They now lead 7 to nothing. Should be 7 to 3 because the Giants should have gotten that field goal. That one's going to be complete to well to Beckham Jr., who's going to get down at the 32-yard line. He's off to a hot start. Four catches for 63 yards already. Second and four now for Mang. He is going to drop back fire pass. It's going to play to Odell Beckham Jr., who's going to get down at the 45-yard line. Five minutes to go in the second quarter. That one's going to play to Mario Manningham, who's going to fall forward for the first down. Now third and four for Manning. He's going to drop back quick pass to Odell Beckham Jr., who is going to get out of bounds at the 20-yard line. Man looking sharp on day 11 for 12 for 100 passing yards. First and 10 for Manning. He's going to roll out right, fire pass. It's going to play to Rashad Jennings, who is going to get into the end zone. And this game is going to be tied up of a score of 7-7. Seven to seven. Under two minutes to go now for Aaron Rodgers, trying to get something going with his team before the end of the half. And he is going to get sacked on the play, and he is injured on the play. Enter Thad Lewis, the backup for the Packers right here. Third and 11 for Lewis. He's going to try to scramble a bit, and he's going to break a tackle, and he's finally going to be brought down by the Giants right there. This will take us into the half, and the score is going to be tied up of a score of 7-7. So, in the third quarter, third and three, it's going to be handed off to Starks, who's going to bounce around, and he breaks free from the defender. And Starks, he is going to get all the way down the field, and he will be gone. Just like that, Giants give up the, the tie right there, and they now trail 14-7. to seven. Third and ten now for Manning, he is going to drop back, fire pass, but it's going to be a complete diving attempt by the cornerback. Saves a huge gain from the Giants right there. Third and an inch, no, second inches for the Packers are here. Rodgers just standing tall in the pocket. He's going to find a wide open Finley. Don't know what, what happened with the coverage right there. And Finley's injured on the play by Steve Brown. First and 10 now for Rodgers. He is going to drop back fire pass. It's going to play to Adams who will get into the end zone. And the Packers will take a 21-7 lead over the Giants. Now second and nine now for Manning. He's going to drop back fire pass. Nice diving catch by Sapp. 
who's going to get down to the 23-yard line. Maybe, maybe this is the giant spark they needed. First and 10 now for Manning. He is going to roll, try to roll out right and escape the pressure, but he's going to get injured on the play, and it's going to be an incomplete pass. So, Giants are going to have to send in Ryan Nassib to somehow get the Giants back into this game. Third and 17 for Nassib. He is going to drop back fire pass. It's going to be complete to Mario Manningham. He's going to fall down to the 41-yard line. And looks like Eli Manning has a broken collarbone. He will be out for the rest of the season. So, pretty devastating injury for the Giants. Eli Manning was probably the most consistent player on the team so far. So, we'll see how it's going to go in the future. Now, fourth and three for NASA. He's going to be complete to Ruben Randall. Giants had to go for the fourth down right there in order to get back to this game. Second and 16 for NASA. He's going to drop back, and he's going to get sacked on the play. This will take us into the fourth quarter. Third and 24 for NASA. It's going to be play action fake, and NASA is going to fire pass, and it's going to be incomplete. And that will force a punt out from the Giants. Second and eight now for Rodgers. He's going to drop back, and he's going to get sacked on that play by Robert Ayers. Now, third and 15 for Rodgers. He's going to drop back. Pump fake, staying tall in the pocket. No pressure from the Giants except now when Robert Ayers decides to sack him again. So, back-to-back -back sacks for the Giants are there. And they will get the ball back. Let's see if Ryan Nassif can produce a comeback right here. Now it's going to be complete to Odell Beckham Jr. for another first down. Now second and one for Nassib. It's going to be handed off to Rashad Jennings, who is going to get a pretty good cane out of there for the first down. 12 rushes for 58 yards. Not the best, but not the worst, so he's doing pretty good. Now third and two for Nassib. That one's going to be almost intercepted. He's 6 for 8 for 46 yards. Not, not bad. He's still our backup, and maybe the future quarterback. We'll see, though. Nice fourth down conversion for the Giants right there from Rashad Jennings. Now third and 13 for NASA. He's going to drop back fire pass. It's going to be complete to Manningham down to the five-yard line. But once again, they're actually going to go for it on fourth down right here. Nassib's drop back. He's going to fire pass to Sap. who will get into the end zone, and the Giants now trail by only one touchdown. And let's see if the Giants' defense can hold up. Scores 21-14. It's possible to make a comeback. Third and five for the Giants, and they give up a First down. Not what they needed right there. First and 10 for Rodgers. So there's somewhat of a chance right here. Man in motion. And it's going to be handoff to the running back. Who's going to get a nice gain? Giants will call their last timeout. And that will do it. Giants are going to drop this game 21 to 14. Playoff hopes are pretty much diminished. But we'll see what happens in the last game of the season. So if you guys like the video, subscribe, like, comment, all the customer reviews in the New York Giants franchise. And video comment below. We'll see the future of this Giants team and if they can somehow get back into the playoffs in the future years. So we'll see you guys later. So see ya.